Hi, how are you? My name is Shirley DeVore, and I'm hanging out outside the Down Law, which is opening this evening at Glastonbury. <laughs> 1978, who would have thought it? As with a lot of stuff we do, it uh, starts with a genre of music. And, and then uh, an environment, uh, a set, an installation is built around that genre of music. Block 9 is uh, me and Steve. Uh, essentially we are a creative partnership. We design and build stage sets, um, create installations, uh, put on parties, festival events in 2007. There was absolutely zero gay presence at any UK festivals at the time. There was pride in London, but um, it wasn't really, to my taste, quite sort of a, a commercial mainstream approach to a festival. So we decided to do, uh, um, to try and outdo everyone, basically. The, the NYC download starts with a, a disco record um, uh, a good disco record um, and we build an environment around that record it's essentially the perfect environment to listen to that record in 800 capacity marquee but you can never see the tent uh, there's a big New York tenement set in front of it with a, a, a yellow New York taxi crashed into the roof and um, you queue up in front of the down low uh, and you come to a porn kiosk, you're not allowed in the NYC down low unless you have a moustache. So if as a, a festival goer you, you have a moustache already, you're in, no problem. If you don't, then it's a self-adhesive moustache to make a donation to charity. Um, every year we support uh, HIV AIDS um, hospice in Zambia. You walk down a dark seedy alleyway into uh, essentially what is a boiling hot black box with a massive sound system. Um, all of the graphics, the lighting, I mean we, we have a vintage lighting rig with, with, with old school lights on. Um, disco, funk, um, early house music, acid house, a kind of mixture of, um, of really excellent uh, gay orientated music and we built everything on site from scratch um, in about two or three weeks. This is actually uh, uh, giving the game away a little bit. This is a, a, a bit of a trade secret. Um, so the taxi, which has crashed into the top of the NYC Download venue, uh, is not actually a real New York taxi. Uh, it used to be a Rover, um, and we cut it in half, and we resprayed it yellow, and we put some NYC decals on the other side. Late 2009, we asked Michael if he'd be interested in us taking on a, um, a bigger plot of land, uh, our own field. Um, and the, um, we needed more stuff. Uh, NYC Download was on one side of the field and, um, and we came up with the idea of the London Underground to represent London sound systems and London music on the other side of the field. A replica tower block with a derailed tube train smashed through it seemed like the obvious choice, really. <laughs> <laughs> Our new project at Glastonbury in 2013, uh, Genesis, um, started out as a commission uh, as, for, as part of the London 2012 Cultural Olympiad. Uh, it was uh, um, started out as part of, part of a project called the Tree of Light. We uh, brought the sort of set design and the design element uh, to the piece. So this is the uh, original concept drawing for the new Genesis stage. Um, uh, it's this, it was imagined as a, a weird kind of um, um, hybrid between a tree and a sort of a, um, concrete and glass industrial facility. This is what our structure currently looks like. Um, so we're going to uh, make the whole thing look much darker and moodier and the central section brought forward so it's really sort of three, more three-dimensional. Um, we're going to introduce a load of oversized electrical connections in between the, t the various tanks uh, which will also sort of uh, come down this trunk area and plug into the back of what's going to be a new DJ position in the front edge of the stage here. <laughs> Uh, 
It looks like an archaic, old, quirky, rusty machine. And um, it really wanted to sound um, like, uh, um, you know, some of the vintage electronic music classics. So um, in bringing it to Glastonbury, um, we've bought, uh, I mean, we've bought some of the original pioneers of, of house music, early acid house, um, Gene Hunt, Tyree Cooper, um, and some, some uh, real masters of vintage electronic music. Um, we brought them over from, uh, from the States and uh, yeah, they'll be DJing on Genesis. I hope it's gonna be great. Um, I mean, I'll be there, taking notes. <laughs> when we started out, we were freelancing, doing this sort of work ourselves, you know, building props and model making and uh, styling and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and the first year at Glastonbury, when we decided we were going to do the NYC down low, um, we just got a, a load of uh, pals together um, who all agreed to do it for nothing and we got some materials from suppliers and we just headed off down to Glastonbury and um, you know, had some sketches and some drawings and we, and we put it together there on site. Um, now things have kind of changed a little bit in that we're doing more and more stuff so we're getting busier and uh, you know our time is spent uh, managing projects and spreadsheets and doing drawings and designs and whatever and less time spent here in the studio which is uh, a bit of a shame really because I love you know, being hands on but it's one of those things I guess it's, uh, it's uh, the nature of getting busier and getting bigger that you end up sort of managing more than actually uh, you know, making the stuff yourself. Having said that, once we get on site of Glastonbury, we really get, really get stuck in. Glastonbury and the essence of Glastonbury. Glastonbury is completely different from all of the other festivals out there in the UK. It's got a s similarities to some of the, the festivals in the States, like Burning Man, that are really, uh, I mean, Burning Man is, 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 a, is, is categorically not a money-making operation. You can't exchange any money there at all. Glastonbury um, um, is a you know, it has a commercial element to it. Um, however, the core of the festival, it's sort of uh, organically formed over the years from, from a really good thing and from a really good group of people. And that is clearly present today. And from getting to know Michael and Emily a bit more, um, money is, 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 is not their motivation.